I think Harmony is an exceptional project because it has made possible something that we did not imagine as, as achievable within this time period, um, which is to create a big data database um, in hematology in order to enable personalized medicine. But as you both know, the role of big data is crucial in order to establish a personalized medicine because um, many of those aspects can only be covered because of the rarity of certain disorders and certain mutations. So this is what Harmony has put together. And it's also a proof of concept. Big data and hematology is actually possible and can be achieved. So I think those are the two uh, major roles and added values. I mean, Harmony is an ongoing research project. So some results are out there already, but we expect more and others still to come because the progress of the project is also depending on the two aspects. On the one hand, the assembly of the data set, I think which has been already significant over the time, but the development of results out of this data set is of course depending also on the assembly of data. So it's taking a bit more time and that's also why certain data is still coming up. But so far speaking, I think for myeloma, the most relevant result has been published for the um, updated classification, so the R2 ISS classification, which is increasing also the importance of genetics in myeloma. And I think the other significant result um, that we have seen now already coming up was the uh, in-deep analysis in AML uh, relating to the role of NPM1 positive AML. So those are already two significant results which have impact on classification and which ultimately will also change therapeutic approaches to these patients in order to allow more individualized treatments, in particular for those in with AML. Harmony has the aim to promote personalized medicine through big data. So, I mean, I think the goal is exactly big data for better outcomes and the better outcomes are achieved through more personalized therapy for patient and individual subgroups. So this is, I think, the central outcome that we are seeing, especially for the hematologists and their patients. But the other point that I think is also relevant um, that Harmony can achieve is the creation of its database can serve as real-world data set. I mean, it's stretching across many European countries, it's stretching even internationally. The inclusion of so many patients it can be used as reference also for innovative trial designs as comparators in circumstances where it's allowed not to conduct uh, randomized clinical trials. That way it can promote also faster access for drugs, so new approval of drugs as compared to those real-world data sets. Harmony's role as pioneer in uh, promoting big data in hematology has shown that sharing data at a large scale is A, possible, second, that new impactful results can be generated out of this big data space and that third this data that has been created can be sustained and having said that having shown this i think also future projects in hematology that use data sharing or as with the harmony foundation that will promote also data sharing and creation of big data either as a centralized database or in federated learning approaches can bridge this gap from big data then also to personalized medicine through the inclusion also of computational um, hematology approaches. Computational hematology is utilizing uh, computational biology approaches to hematologic disorders. It's not a reinvention of the wheel in the sense because the techniques and the advanced statistical models have been established, but utilizing the domain knowledge of hematologists is intending um, to foster also those approaches to translate into clinical care and into improvements also of clinical care. It's, it's an approach uh, basically to personalize medicine. Thank you.